The Daikin EHU series has a lot of tools available to us to help diagnose and troubleshoot errors or problems. This unit has the ability to tell us when oil is low, when voltage is incorrect, uh, when temperatures are too high. The di digital display here in the front has four buttons. To, to access our monitor mode, we'll push the menu key and hold it down for two seconds. It will then flash N00. Using your up arrow, you can scroll up to N03 and hit enter, the backwards O. That'll show you your actual flow rate through the pump. If you scroll up to N05, you will get your motor RPM or motor speed at an idle. N10 will give you motor temperature and N12 will give you your control board voltage. All of these are helpful when diagnosing this system. And if you're having trouble or calling for technical support, it's always great to have those values or that information readily available so we can quickly work through troubleshooting. Daikin EHU has the ability to display several different alarms. If you see E15 flashing on your display, that's an indication you have an undercurrent or under voltage to the unit. First thing we want to check is that we're within our voltage range. Ideally, between 200 and 220 volts AC, you can be plus or minus 10% but really need to stay within those parameters. Also, we need to check our power supply. Any thermal overload relay is not needed for this system. A typical circuit breaker is best. If you've verified these things and you want to verify them again at the unit, we'll remove this cover, four screws to take the cover off our controller, and right here at the terminal strip, we will check each leg to ground and then leg to leg. If those ranges are all acceptable, then we probably have a controller failure or the power board within the controller. Remember, after any alarm has been displayed or occurred and you've made an adjustment to the unit, you will need to cycle power to reset that alarm. Most alarms will not go away after you change a parameter or setting. We'll turn off power, wait about 10 seconds, and then restart. 